I know you're shocked. I have something other than a Coke Zero on my table, but don't worry, I'm not gonna drink it, I promise. This just goes into what I'm talking about, okay? It fits in, so just trust me, all right? I'm starting this 10 Talk today with one of my most severe dating fails. Now, I say one of because there's many of them, but this is one of my most severe. I was in youth group and there was a girl that I kind of had a crush on and I liked, and, and I finally got the nerve to go and ask her out and ask her if she wanted to go to a movie on the weekend. And so we arranged a time to pick her up and everything. Now, I had just got my license, so I was, I was 16, and at that time, you got your full license at 16, so I could bring friends and drive around. So I was all excited. You know, I, I had been, you know, liked this girl for a long time and finally got enough courage to ask her out and I went to her house and I was so nervous, I ended up going super early just to find out where she lived and then I sat in a parking lot like a half hour, you know, uh, before I was supposed to pick her up. You know, don't worry, it's not like stalking or anything, it's kind of weird, but I just wanted to make sure I knew where I was going. So then finally the time came and I drove up and I went down her driveway and her driveway was on a super steep sl slope like this. And, and so I was kind of weird and nervous and I parked the car and made sure it was all good. I got out, I rang the doorbell. Now, I, I went all out. Like, I, I dressed up nice, had a nice shirt on, right? I got some, some chocolates for her, had some flowers for her, right? So, hey, this is gonna be awesome. Well, her mom answered the door and I asked, you know, if she was home and, and so this young lady who was taking on a date, she came to the door. And it was right then and there that I realized she had no clue that we we're going on a date. She was like, very surprised, taken back, like she thought we're just going as buddies to a movie, big deal. And here I've got, a, you know, I think we had roses for her and all the stuff. And so it was very awkward. And, and she kind of went to the car and the mom's looking and waving at us. And I got in the car and the, the car was on such a, a, a steep downward thing that I couldn't get it in gear. It was an automatic car. And I was just pulling on it, pulling on it, pulling on it. And finally, it went into gear and I slowly backed out of the driveway and I'm sure the mom was just sending off prayer saying, protect my daughter, what's gonna happen? Anyway, we went out, we drove to the movie, we saw Adventures in Babysitting, which is a movie that was out during that time. The whole movie, we didn't talk. I was so nervous and you know me, I'm, I'm not usually speechless, but I was speechless and nervous. After that, I thought, okay, we're gonna go, you know, take her somewhere nice to eat. So behind the theater, I was driving by and there was both, there was a McDonald's, and a Burger King, right, somewhere nice. And they were right side by side, so I asked her, which one do you like better, McDonald's or Burger King? And she said, oh, McDonald's. Well, as I was driving, I ended up pulling around and then I missed the driveway to pull into McDonald's. So I said, oh, I, we'll go to Burger King. So I went into Burger King, because I didn't want to look stupid and have to back up and go to McDonald's. So I didn't even do what she said. Anyway, we're sitting there, we had fries and a Coke. We're, we're trying to talk very awkwardly and then I totally spill over my Coke all over the table and onto her. So, needless to say, it was a huge dating fail and the chances of a second date, zero. It was a big swing and a miss. That's a fun story, a dating fail for me. Uh, take heart because, you know, Babe Ruth swung out more times than he hit home runs. Just remember that. But it goes along with our question today. We got a great question, our first in our series of You Asked For It, and the question was this. Did Jesus have a crush? N now do you get it? The crush? Yeah, yeah. Did Jesus have a crush? I thought, what a great question. So that's what I want to start with. And, First of all, what is a crush? Well, it's kind of a brief, intense infatuation for someone that you have. Going. You like somebody, but you're not sure, and you're going to go talk to them. Those feelings that you have. And, uh, you know, I occasionally had some crushes growing up as well. Uh, but I want to say this. When it comes to Jesus, it's really important to understand a few things. But what has clouded the whole topic is this. A few years ago, archaeologists found some manuscripts called the Gnostic Gospels. They're like the Gospel of Thomas, the Gospel of Judas. You might have heard of these before. Well, they had different stories relating to Jesus, and even a story that kind of relayed that maybe he had a relationship with Mary Magdalene. And others have speculated that he had a wife and had children and all sorts of things. Now, these Gnostic Gospels were written in like the third century, nowhere close to when Jesus was around. 
And they were written by people that isn't of their namesake. Judas didn't write it. Thomas didn't write it. They were anonymously written to try and sway political views and religious views of the time. So just want to say they are not part of the Bible. They are not true and accurate. I just want to say that very bluntly. The movie The Da Vinci Code came out from those times and, uh, and caused a lot of havoc in Christian circles, but it was fairly easy later on to say, no, these are not real. They are not true. But it raised those questions. Did Jesus have relationships? And here we're asking, did Jesus have a crush? So I just want to reaffirm that the Bible, in the Bible, there's no record of Jesus having a romantic relationship, marrying a woman, or having children. And the Gospels are the best biographies that we have of Jesus. And there's no mention of those things. So what does that mean for our question, did Jesus have a crush? We have to remember that Jesus was fully God, but also fully human. And when we say fully human, we're talking about having the ability to feel the full spectrum of human emotion. So Jesus was fully God, but fully human, experiencing all those things. In Hebrews 4, 15 and 16, it says this, For we do not have a high priest, and they're talking about Jesus there, who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are. Yet he did not sin. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. That is an amazing verse talking about how Jesus lived this full human life and how he experienced everything that we experienced, yet he did not sin. And how intimately he knows what we're going through. Think about it. Not only did Jesus experience full temptation as a human, he also experienced poverty, Frustration, disappointment, rejection, sorrow, ridicule, loneliness, friendships, and yes, he experienced love. Now, love has a bunch of different definitions, and although he was fully God, he was fully human and experienced the totality of human life except for sin. So think about it. Jesus, at one time, was a preteen just like you or a teenager just like you, going through adolescence. He experienced life just like you. Doesn't that give you peace to know that Jesus understands and that you can go to him with anything that you're struggling with and anything that you have? See, the Bible doesn't say specifically that Jesus had a crush on anyone, but if he experienced a fully human life, he may have had a crush or a feelings for someone but we know for sure that if he did, it would have been pure. But it's pure speculation because the Bible does not say. We do know this, though. We do know that Jesus loved deeply. Jesus loved deeply. John 15, 13 talks about this, and I'd love to read it for you. And it says this, Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. That was Jesus talking about love. Jesus loved you so deeply that he took on your sin and gave his life as a ransom so you could have life. That is an intense love. So maybe in a different way, Jesus had a crush on you. Not in a romantic way at all, but in a pure love sacrificial way, an intense love, and he cared for you. So did Jesus have, have a crush growing up? We actually don't know. It doesn't say specifically, but I know that he loved intensely and he loves you. If you want to know more about Jesus, let us know. We'd love to chat with you about it. Till next time, have a good one and keep asking good questions.